Dave, we spoke a little bit about Urias and his outing today, but uh, overall, what did you see from him throughout this? And then uh, Bruce Dar Gratterall, I mean, obviously, we know the velocity is there. He looked good tonight as well. Yeah, uh, Julio was really sharp. Uh, it, it was just a great final tune-up for him. And uh, you know, his next start would be in the regular season, so that was good. Uh, got him through five innings right around 75 pitches, so we accomplished everything we wanted. Um, really positive, he said he felt good coming out of it. And uh, the Buffalo, now he's got the nickname, the Bazooka. So Bruce Dar, um, he was fantastic. And just stepping on it tonight, uh, the, fl the fastball, I think, touched 101. And it's in, in, as easy as 101 as you can get. Um, but slide that was sharp, had depth. So really clean, fun out to watch. Like Trinan gets into a bit of a jam there, has some traffic on the bases, but gets out of it. What did you see throughout his outing, uh, you know, to kind of rise above um, the, the traffic? Yeah, Blake, Blake, was, Blake was good. I think that whenever he's putting the ball on the ground, that's a good thing. And uh, he did that tonight. I think he felt good with it. You cut out there for a second, Dave. But as far as your offense is yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Alana. No, no, that's okay. As far as your offense is concerned, you guys, you know, have nine runs yesterday. You put up a 12 spot tonight. I mean, is this what you can expect from your lineup? Obviously not every day, but just how potent this lineup is. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's really, it, it's, you know, we can beat you in a lot of different ways. And I think that you can look at Jock's Homer or Mookie's Homer. Um, but those are bats when, when JT's going 12 pitches, and getting a double in that first inning where that first two outs, he gets two outs, and then it ends up being a long inning. Um, that kind of has an, a collateral effect. And just the at-bat quality, one through nine, has been remarkable. When you take your key starters out, you know, Mookie Betts of the world, Justin Turner, those types of guys, do you take them out at that point, obviously having success, but kind of leaving them wanting, wanting more? Yeah, I, I think that, you know, each one of these guys uh, could have taken another bat or played a few more innings. But I think that, you know, as you, we get right here at the one-yard line, get ready to start opening day, I want these guys to – not to say that they're not hungry, but I, I'd rather guys feeling really good and wanting more bats than feeling um, I'm just making it to the, to the starting line. And that's not a good feeling. So I don't want these guys to be fatigued. And they're all seeing the ball really well. So – uh, to kind of err on the side of caution, I think it's a good thing. Thank you, Dave. Same question from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hello, Dave. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Sorry about that. I'm putting it out here. Um, so, uh, who started calling Blue Star the Buffalo? What happened? Uh, so, I, I think it happened in spring training where, where we had to meet a player. We met Blue Star, and I asked him what his nickname was, and he said it was the Buffalo. And so we started calling it Buffalo. And I think the bazooka was self-proclaimed uh, from what I'm hearing. And so where does he fit? Obviously, he has a history, injury history, you know, over the last couple of years. Um, but obviously, touch 101, not many guys can, can do that. Where does he fit in your plans right now? Uh, he's in the plans. Um, you know, as far as finalizing the roster, we're not quite there yet. But uh, if he can throw the baseball like that, sky's the limit and, and I think that just that conviction that he had with the fastball with the slider that he had tonight was uh, was really was really encouraging but I think that right now we've got some fun difficult conversations over the next couple of days.